everybody, I'm Brian Boyle here and welcome to episode 156 of the Mesh Tongue. It is a Monday and hopefully you're having a good start to the week. Uh, gone last week for 4th of July and uh, yeah, I took a little break. So hopefully uh, hopefully you guys did something fun, got away for the 4th, maybe got a race in and uh, maybe a PR. Uh, hopefully this is uh, this has been a great summer for you and we're trying to keep you all injury free so that's the that's the absolute key now I know I've talked to a lot of you and you know please keep those questions comments and those concerns coming to me at Brian B R I A N at company 5k that's the number 5 k.com just like the race and I'll be happy to get back to you with those uh, with those questions uh, answered um, but yeah, hopefully you got something uh, something good going on, and uh, maybe you're in the thick of things and uh, training. Uh, we've got the Wasatch Mile coming up here, and we're getting some uh, some pretty big name athletes coming in. So if you're around September 14th, 2017, that's uh, just two short months away. Uh, we're gonna do a fast mile in downtown Utah, downtown uh, downtown Utah. I guess if it was a city, downtown Salt Lake, in Utah, and uh, uh, it should be a good one. But uh, Without further ado, today's episode. So today I want to talk to you about feet. I've done a couple other episodes about toenails and things like that. Um, really, when it comes down to it, when you're running, um, you know, especially the ultras and uh, you know anybody that's doing any cross country, uh, they're real popular this year. That uh, uh, looks like a lot of people are out and doing trail runs and, and things. The key with it is when you get your feet wet, you've got to get them dry pretty quick. Now. How do you do that? So smart wool socks can certainly do that. There are some waterproof, some Gore-Tex uppers on some trail runners that are out there, Ultra, Nike, uh, just a few of the brands that actually make some waterproof shoes. So if you're going to be going out uh, and doing something that uh, you know would be out in the uh, the trails, you can certainly go that option. Um, you know they're not maybe the most practical. They are a little bit more pricey. Um, you know again they're a little bit heavier, so they may not be an everyday shoe. But if you know that you're going to be going out uh, into those conditions, obviously you could plan ahead. They do make foot gaiters that uh, that you could put on. Um, you know some people will take them. Uh, some people will even just take uh, you know garbage bags and plastic bags if they know that they're going to be going uh, on a trail run. That's uh, you know on an ultra or kind of even just a, a longer trail run uh, that you may be going over th you know through some streams and stuff like that that uh, that you may want to have your shoes on but uh, you know putting bags around at least try and keep them as dry as possible can be benefit the key though then is to get those toes which will become macerated so they're the white it looks like the prunes it looks like you've been in a pool too long or the bathtub too long uh, you got to get those toes dry uh, they do make those smart wool socks also uh, those smart wool socks are going to be a, a better option than say cotton will be uh, the in ninji um, socks that are the toe socks that, uh, that fit each and every single one of the toes so they can kind of reduce blisters but the key with it is once you get those toes wet and they become macerated, that whiteness, uh, you've got to get them dry quickly and then you also need to get moisturizer on them. That's the key, okay? Your body, especially if you, like in Utah, it is dry. So uh, Utah, New Mexico, Arizona, some of the drier uh, areas, this is going to be a big key that you're going to need to uh, you're going to need to take care of. Uh, you want to get moisturizer on the um, on your toes, and we've got a a little knocker, uh, some guests here, but uh, uh, you're going to want to get that moisturizer on those toes and get that moisture back in there because once they dry out, the downside of it is is that then the skin becomes very dry. So you have this opposite condition where you've gone from maceration where the toes have actually been too wet to very dry uh, and this is where you can start having nail issues, maybe some fungus issues on the inside of the toes and, and whatnot. So you got to make sure that once you get them dry, get a towel between each toe. Uh, if you don't have a towel, you know, uh, um, you know, whatever is there, I mean, you, you take a shirt, an extra shirt that you might have in a pack, uh, get between each toe and then make sure you bring some moisturizer lotion to get on those feet because once they are dry, the, the, the moisture is going to be gone. So um, that is it. So toe is episode. And what we're going to need to do is, uh, um, <laughs> we got guests. So, um, you know, make sure you get those toes dry as quick as possible, moisturizer, 
and uh, you're all set. So, episode 156 of The Mesh Tongue, and that's a wrap. My name is Brian Boyle. I'm a physical therapist. I've been practicing for uh, close to 19 years here. I've been a runner for what we just figured out the other day for 28 years. Uh, so definitely, if you've got any questions, please, please, please feel free to uh, to shoot them my way. Brian at company5k.com. I'd be happy to get that to you. And uh, we'll see you again next time. But please, 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 please don't go hurting yourself just to come back. And I do appreciate all the shares and the love, so please keep sharing this with your friends, your family, and training partners. I appreciate it, and until next time, we'll see you again. All right.